go. Welcome back. <laughs> well, it's been what? A month? Or more. <laughs> or more. Uh, I don't know the we overwhelming... Took a little, we took a little break. We couldn't keep up with everything. Yeah. Maybe someday we'll be able to fit the YouTube in full time, but this right here has kept us just busy. The farm in general. Between hay, we're up to 2,000 square bales already. Uh, the strawberries, have we've been picking for four or five nights now. Mm -hmm. Since um, Friday. Yeah, since Friday. And I don't even know what today is. What's today? July? Today's July 24th, and it's a Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't even keep track of days. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Um, one is, second. Is there something on another side of the roof? I'll show you. In we'll a check it out in a minute. But we just wanted to give everybody an update, and uh, we'll just do a little uh, brief touch on everything that's out here. Start with the strawberries. Um, come take a look at these. These are doing well. We picked early tonight, and these ones are ready tomorrow. Um, this one probably could be eaten today, but there's a little bit of white on it. If we were picking the, you know, ship. We'd pick them when they had a little white on them, like they come in from out west, but we want to pick them when they're nice and sweet. So, Which they are. Everything's doing good though. Yummy, yummy. The living mulch, the annual ryegrass has worked out awesome. Yeah, it has. tonight. Again, I got to make sure next year I make the width of the rows wide enough to put the tractor down through, yeah, or the lawn tractor. We've been push mowing it. <laughs> push mowing it, and it works, but... It's just one of those things, you're already tired enough and then to go push them out at the end of the day, so. And then there's the squash down here. But yeah, so the strawberry's doing well. Uh, I can tell you right now, I don't think I'd ever grow a strawberry any other method. This is the only way to go, I feel. We could be wrong still. We still haven't even We're still new. our money back. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I meant to tell you, we got the drip irrigations all going. Uh, pretty simple design. Whoop. We got one inch hose coming in from our well and we got like 20 gallons per minute coming in here. So we got 22 beds and we split this into two zones. So we got 11 beds at water at once and to get one inch equivalent of one inch of rain in seven days we got to run this for seven hours. Um, so we didn't run it for like an hour and a half a day right now. And that's if there's no rain. The soil is still wicked moist here, so we're not, you know, we're not going to run it for seven hours right now until no. things get real dry. Because these plants are pretty susceptible to uh, root root problems if they get wet. That's why they're on the raised beds. Daddy. So, anyways, cheap though. This this whole plastic thing has got me one for sure. <laughs> so. Daddy, I want and this to drip irrigation is all stuff you said we can use next year too. Like it's most of it. Most yep, of it. All yep. the stuff's reusable. I mean, is this try it. One. Try it. Might be a little tart. And the squash are booming. They are absolutely going crazy. Squash for miles. <laughs> if we can't grow strawberries up here, we know we can grow squash. They love it. I think it's because the soils so heavy and damp. Yeah. Daddy, They're and thriving off it. I have two cover crops Daddy. from last year, so yeah. it's got tons of fertility. Excuse me, Daddy. What? Those are cool. Are they? You want to show? Hey, Let's go show everybody your pumpkins. These things are as tall as you. It's massive pumpkin leaves. We haven't fertilized. Nope. Look at, at those. Put your hand up next to one of those just to yeah, show yeah. like an example of how big all the leaves. Like, they're huge. Oh, look, this little pumpkin in here. Oh, look at the little pumpkins are starting. Once they get bigger, Alice, we'll carve your name in it and then it will grow. With your name on it. So, we got the buttercups, butternuts, Let's see if we can find pumpkins, and delicata. Ooh, delicatas. Yep. Oh, Alice, look, look at all these pumpkins. That, that one's going bigger. Yeah, it is. That's going to be a big one. You know, you can tell. Look at the size of that. Yep, the stalk on it. If that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my, oh, there's so many blocks. Another one. Another oh. one right there. We're going to be loaded, guys. Yep. Get your pumpkins. Come get your pumpkin. <laughs> Mom. 
And then we got... Uh, we planted down there our storage Daddy. beets and carrots. I'll take a peek at these. You going through, honey? Finally. Good. Stay in here. You still on? Yep. So these two beds right here, I don't know if you can see them on the video. because. Yeah, nice. you can. So these are our storage carrots, and then this one right here. These are looking good. The beets are looking really good. Storage beets. We're going to thin, thin these out and try to um, either freeze or can all the beet greens. Because you got to thin these out so they'll actually grow. Yep. And I just threw down some oats on the other side now. I'm not sure what to do with this. Um... So we're going to put some oats on that can just plow it in for a cover crop. So Yeah, if everything goes as planned this year, we're going to extend it next year anyways, right? Yeah. So even if we don't do anything with this piece. Again, yeah. This is really wet down here. so It takes forever to dry up. Uh, we got, yeah, we got 600 bales off our off field. Off this piece, yep. This is six acres right here, you said? Yeah, about, almost, almost. Like a six acre yeah. field. So it was heavy crop. Alice wants everybody to see a special surprise. She doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> Mommy doesn't know what it is. No, nope, I don't. Let's go up at the sawmill. I found something the other day. This is the surprise that Daddy had to show us. Okay. I'm going to pick you right up. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're all right. That is so cool. <laughs> What is it, Alice? It has a bone in it. Let's bring the camera over. We'll show everybody. <gasps> Mama, Mama has to see it. She will. I will. Sorry. Right. Well, she has to see on the camera because yeah, I, I can't okay. see it. I saw him the other day when I had a log up here. Say hello, everybody. What are you guys doing in there? Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at these guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. I want to see them again. Yo, I'll show you when we go inside on the big screen. Yeah, because we got them on camera so we can see them Look, on the this Look, one's, this one's actually awake today. No, I want to see them. Luckily, Mama doesn't mind me in here. She's been good. She must know this is your place. She knows so. that I'm not going to hurt them. She's okay with you sharing. I got a little carried <laughs> away. We got a <laughs> runaway log. Can we lift it? I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Alice can lift it up. So muscle power. But sawmill's been getting a workout. Everything's getting a workout. I wanna see again. We I'll need show to you on the camera. On our garden and we need to update on the freezer. Here, hop on my back. Space. Yep. Let's let's uh take a look at the the home garden. Our what would we call it? Other than the onions are like Eat now, garden. Well, that's yeah. Hey, Daddy, did you touch the bug? No, you don't want to no, touch them. Don't want to touch them. Because then they can, you can get the scent on them, and the mummies might not like it. Got some cucumbers. Got cucumbers. I want to see. Pickling. I, I, I want to pick some. Look at that. Look, we've got a few right here. Some pickling cucumbers. These ones are ready. Pickling cucumbers. Oh, that's They're prickly, aren't they? Yep, bunch of green beans. The beets, are the beets come in really Pretty spacey. Like picky, oh, um, I tried some pelleted seed because I thought it would go through my precision seeder better, but it did not work good. I think Mr. Whalen wants to come out. He's been inside eating supper. And yeah, head. Yeah, we got to plant some more of that. Yep. Get some more rounds of it. So this one's about ready to go by. Did you find some more? If you did, you, I think you can pick them as long as they're a decent size. These ones don't get very big because they're prickling cucumbers. Look at the baby ones. See? Aww. That's a baby. What's, what's that one? That's a little, that's another little one. These will grow quickly though. Let's go down. Want to show me carrots? Yeah, those are. We'll start some more. We can have some that come off late in the fall. Kale, our 
kale looks sad right now, but that's oh, we yeah. the, a ton of it. Well, we ate a lot of it for dinner, too. Yeah, we had a bunch of it tonight. Oh, but we had this plant, and this plant was was full. We had a tremendous flea beetle yeah. infestation in the beginning of the spring. I don't know if it's because it was wet, but... My tomato plants looking just good. Just cherry tomatoes. Yeah. I hate tomatoes. I'm the only one that eats them, so we just do one. One plant. Alice is obsessed with these carrots. <laughs> They're not even big can, yet. Can, can you Let's see. see. Let's thin it out. Let's grab one that's crowding up space here. Oh yeah, look at this one. Here we go. Here we go. These things come out so tough. They got really, these are the long ones. Whoop, rip the oh, top right off. Top right off we'll get him. Like a... yeah, we'll get him. These are Alice's favorite. She looks for these, looks forward to these every year. These are Mokums. They call. I, I'll show them both, okay? Look at that. Oh, see that thing that was so long; it bad. still broke. It broke. It's all right. It's Look, okay. it's just the tip. You break off, anyways. These I, will grow I need quick. To show the camera. I need to show the camera. Nice. They're getting there. Our onions are doing super well. Like, yeah. Really, really well. Now, I need Plenty to of onions. wash this up. I'll, I'll be right back. You gonna go rinse it off? Yeah. Okay. Alice could eat these All for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yep. I'll find her out here in the middle of the night, probably. <laughs> Munching on some carrots. I haven't really tried one yet. Try to find me a good one. Oh, that's a beauty. Hey, Alice. So started working on the, I don't even know what to call it, breezeway slash attachment to the barn, walk-in cooler. Uh, got it framed up, used some stuff I had laying around out back for wood, and just trying to get it closed in, keep the rain out, because now that the foundation is level with the entry, we're getting some water coming inside, so get the roof on it, just with some tar paper. Why don't you come over here though, we'll show them the plan in here. So it's pretty much 12 by 12. I'm gonna come out here. This will be a walk-in cooler space. I'm not sure how far over I'm gonna come. Might do like an eight, eight by eight. Cause we wanna be able to put a chest freezer in here, put some shelves and stuff, keep other food. Yeah, the walk-in cooler I need to get done to butcher a cow this fall and to store all of our food for the winter. That's the whole goal behind this. But it's coming, it's gonna get sheathed in, get the side on it, and then frame out this walk-in cooler. But uh, as you can see, we've been busy, hence no YouTube videos. Unfortunately, I know there's a lot of you that like to stay updated every day, but, we or even every yeah. week. But uh, I wouldn't say underestimated what was the summer was gonna be like, but it definitely chews up all your time. <laughs> I mean, I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything else, but it definitely took away from our time to be able to do more videos. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're hoping once we get more used to it and more comfortable with everything, maybe we'll be able to incorporate videos more and well, use and better equipment. As much as we've enjoyed the YouTubing, it does. It takes it takes more work than I think we realized yep. it did. So we'll just put a video out. We're not going to quit on it. No. We'll we just, just put a video out when we get time. When we get it, yeah. So, anyways, I guess the last thing we can show you is we got our hay in for the cows. Just take a peek upstairs in the barn. And I'll just uh, show you that. And then we got another 300 bales on the ground. I got to tend it tomorrow, and then we'll bale Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it for first crop. So, we're doing well. And... No major failures yet in equipment. No, everything's gone well. I jinxed it. Now it's gonna all go. <laughs> all right, we'll go, we'll go take a peek yep. up, upstairs. So we got the barn about half full. That that rafter up there, that's the 16 foot mark. This is 32 feet long. And we got 500 bales in here. We definitely won't fit a thousand, that's for sure. I'm guessing 800. So we'll fill it up the rest of the way with second crop, and that way we can sell some out of here in the spring, whatever we got left over. 
But this is this is first crop off my field, but it was beautiful. Nice and green, ton of leaf on it. And I wasn't gonna gamble and wait for second crop and have nothing in here in case second crop weather doesn't pan out or I don't know, this this growing season has just been strange, so I wasn't about to take any more chances. So worst case scenario, we got some good first crop for them. And we're not running a milk a dairy farm here, so <laughs> they'll be fine. But Work good, hay elevator worked good. It didn't go bad either. I mean, we put this in in an evening, in just a couple hours, so. It was awesome, it feels good to have it in here. And we'll uh, stack or full a second crop if we get it. Well, we hope everybody enjoyed a quick update on everything. And as always, we'll try. If we get a window of opportunity, we'll get another video out. We'll try to keep everybody updated as best we can with the time we have. And until next time, what do you want to say? Like and subscribe. Share us. Enjoy it. And we'll see you next time.